Hey there, developers! Ready to learn how to build a beautiful material date picker using Jetpack Compose Multiplatform? In this tutorial, we'll create a clean, responsive layout with modern Material 3 styling, following UI best practices to make it look polished and work smoothly on Android, desktop, and beyond. Whether you're scheduling bookings or picking future dates, this date picker has you covered. Let's dive in! First, we set up three state variables, show date picker for dialog control, selected date for the picked value, and showerer for validation. We then use a vertical layout with spacing and include a custom card that triggers the picker when tapped. We create the date picker state with validation rules. Using selectable dates, we convert milliseconds to a readable local date and only allow future or current dates to be selected. When the dialog is shown, we provide OK and cancel actions. On OK, we fetch the selected date and validate it. If it's valid, we save and close. Otherwise, we show an error. Cancel simply closes the picker without changing anything. Inside the dialog, we include the date picker and a styled headline. If the user selects a past date, we show an error message below the picker in red, providing clear feedback. The date picker card shows the selected date below the action button. The validate date function compares the selected date with today's date. We use an enum called restriction type to control the restriction type, making the logic reusable for other future cases. Step 1. Composable function. We start with the date picker demo composable, managing all layout, logic, and state using Material 3's experimental API. Step 2. State variables, we define three states. Show date picker controls dialog visibility. Selected date stores the date as a string and showerer flags invalid past dates. Step three, main layout, we use a column with 16D, padding, full width, and 12D, spacing to hold our date picker card. Step four, date picker card, we add a date picker card with a future only title, description, selected date, select date button, and click handler to show the dialog. Step 5. Conditional dialog. The dialog shows only when show date picker is true, keeping the UI uncluttered. Step 6. Date picker state and validation. We create a date picker state with a selectable dates validator, restricting picks to today or future dates using local date. Step 7. Dialog structure. We use date picker dialog with confirm slash cancel buttons, styled in blue with a surface background. Step 8. Confirm button logic on OK. We validate the selected local date. Valid dates are saved and the dialog closes. Invalid ones show an error. Step 9. Cancel button. The cancel button closes the dialog without saving changes. Step 10. Dialog content. The dialog has a date picker with a future only title and a red error message for invalid dates. Step 11. Date picker card component. The date picker card shows a title, description, button, and selected date, ensuring clarity. Step 12. Validation function. The validate date function checks if the date is today or later using the system clock. Step 13, restriction enum. We define a restriction type enum with no past dates for flexible validation. Wrap up, that's it. Our date picker is user-friendly, cross-platform, and great for scheduling apps. Modify it under HPL. 3. 0. Share the source and code on.